this video, we will see how we can determine the standard enthalpy change for a reaction from the bond energies. In order to explain bond energy, we may look at the graph on the right side. The average bond energy may be defined as the energy released when one mole of bonds in a molecule are formed. Here, hydrogen is the molecule that we are looking at. When one mole of hydrogen molecules are formed from its elements, you, you find that the energy decreases or the energy released is 432 kilojoules. And this happens when the two hydrogen atoms approach each other and reaches an equilibrium distance of 74 picometer, that is the bond length. If you try to bring the hydrogen atoms closer than that, the energy is going to shoot up or the potential energy goes up. This energy is referred to as the average bond energy. Now, if you want to break one mole of hydrogen-hydrogen bonds, the energy that has to be supplied is also the same. Breaking a bond is an endothermic reaction, therefore the value will be positive. Forming a bond is an exothermic reaction, therefore value will be negative. And this is evident from the graph that you see. Now, there are three methods for determining enthalpy changes. And the first method is calorimetry. We use the equation Q is equal to mc delta T and a bomb calorimeter to determine the enthalpy change. To watch the video on calorimetry, please click on the link on the right. The second method uses Hess's law of heat summation. And to watch a video on Hess's law, click on the link that is provided on the right. Today we will be determining enthalpy of reaction using bond energies and the equation that we are going to use is enthalpy of reaction is equal to sum of the bond energies of the reactants minus sum of the bond energies of the products. So we are going to use bond energies for calculating enthalpy of reaction. Here is a question for you. Calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction between methane and oxygen. You are given the following bond energies. This reaction is a combustion reaction and we need to find out the enthalpy of combustion. But you are being provided with bond energies. The oxygen-oxygen double bond bond energy is 497 kilojoules per mole. Carbon-hydrogen bond energy is 414 kilojoules per mole. Oxygen-hydrogen bond energy is 464 kilojoules per mole. And carbon-oxygen double bond bond energy is 740 kilojoules per mole. We are going to use these bond energies to calculate the enthalpy of reaction. The first thing to do would be to write a balanced equation for the reaction. This is the balanced equation for the reaction. One mole of methane reacts with two moles of oxygen to form one mole of carbon dioxide and two moles of water. And the equation that we are going to use for solving this is delta H reaction is equals to sum of the bond energies of the reactants minus sum of the bond energies of the products. The reaction, we already know the products of combustion of methane is water and carbon dioxide. What we are going to do is actually look at the molecular structure and identify the bonds that are going to be broken and formed. Methane is a tetrahedral molecule, has four CH bonds. For methane to change into carbon dioxide and water, the first thing to do would be to break the CH bonds. So we have to break four CH bonds. The second reactant that we have is oxygen, and there are two double bonds. In each of the oxygen atom, we have one bond, one double bond, so totally two double bonds have to be broken. Once we have broken these bonds, then carbon will react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. And in carbon dioxide, there is a carbon-oxygen double bond. There are two of them because there are two oxygen atoms in carbon dioxide. The remaining hydrogen atoms will react with two oxygen atoms that are present to form two molecules of water. So, 
when four OH bonds are formed, it will release energy. When two CO bonds are formed, that will also release energy. So every time there is a chemical reaction taking place, the bonds have to be broken on the reactant side and bonds are formed on the product side. If you know the bond energies of the reactants and bond energies of the products, you can calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction. That's what we're going to do today. Next, we will assign bond energies to each of these bonds and calculate the energy changes that are associated with them. In CH4, there are four CH bonds. The bond energy for the CH bond is 414 kilojoules. If there are four CH bonds, we have to break four moles of CH bonds. So the total energy released when four CH bonds are broken will be 1656 kilojoules. Next, we have to break the bonds present in oxygen. Every oxygen molecule has a double bond and the value of the bond energy is 497 kilojoules. Since we have to break two moles of oxygen molecules, the total energy required for that would be 994 kilojoules of energy. Or in short, the total amount of energy required to break all the bonds in the reactants would be 2650 kilojoules. Now that we have broken all the bonds in the reactants, the atoms are going to combine to form the products. And these are the products that we will get. In the products, you have four OH bonds. The bond energy of OH bond is 464 kilojoules. So when four OH bonds are formed, it will release 4 times 464 kilojoules. This is going to be equal to 1856 kilojoules of energy. When two moles of CO bonds are formed, it's going to release 740 kilojoules times 2, which is going to be equal to 1480 kilojoules. Whenever bonds are formed, energy is going to be released. So the total amount of energy that's going to be released when two moles of water is formed and one mole of carbon dioxide is formed is going to be 3,336 kilojoules. You will notice that the energy required for breaking the bonds in the reactants are less than the energy produced when the products are formed. Or in short, 3,336 kilojoules is larger than 2,650 kilojoules. So what does this tell you? When the products are formed, it releases more energy. So this reaction is going to be exothermic. And if you calculate delta H reaction using the equation that we have selected, delta H reaction is equal to bond energy of the reactants minus bond energy of the products, this is what we will get. Enthalpy of combustion of methane is equals to delta H reaction is equals to minus 686 kilojoules. So when one mole of methane undergoes combustion and we use bond energies to determine the enthalpy changes, the energy released is equals to minus 686 kilojoules. Now you would observe that this value is slightly lower than the value calculated when we use calorimetry or Hess's law. And to find the reason why that happens, watch my next video. That's it for now. If you like the video, please don't hesitate to rate, comment, and subscribe. Thank you and have a great day.